What door am I clicking? Whoa, that's 437! Are you fucking kidding me? That's 437 right there! God damn Go it. get 417. Fuck the narrator. 417 was uh, further on. Yeah. Alright. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. You throw okay. a few clicks on there, man. See what happens. We found it. We found it. He hid Excellent. that one. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door <laughs> 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. All You're right. lying to me. 415. Dude, uh, isn't it 415? Four, um, keep going. Hold I on. know you're lying to me. 415. Boom. Right right there. 415. Now, back to door number 437. Four, all right, back to 437. What are you doing? You trying to make him mad? Don't make him mad. I was doing 10 clicks. He told me to do 10 clicks. Yeah, but every time you hit the button, is a click. Because otherwise, you've been there for a lot longer than, you Let's know. see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? What? <laughs> He's making shit up at this point. All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've got this. I will make you proud, God. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. <laughs> <coughs> oh, shit. Okay. That's the... Yes, this is... Great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's <laughs> keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. Okay. Uh, okay, let's go. Okay. I'm really optimistic about what's going to happen. Whole bill is just going to explode. We almost got it. Now the copy machine. Do that one again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's he's really excited oh, about I me clicking things. Oh, I love this. I will make you proud, Dad. Finish it off, Stanley. Five clicks on door four three zero. <laughs> yes, we did it! <laughs> oh wow, that felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really now, what were you thinking? That was the door we started off on too. Four thirty. Yeah, that was the door we started off on. Uh huh. I don't know. I, th I think it was just because you clicked the door five times. So I think it was just by, by by luck and the convenience that it was that door. What do you mean? I don't think you have to click that door specifically no, you five do. times. Do you? Yeah. Because when I was going back through it, I tried clicking other doors. It wouldn't start it. It had to be four thirty. Huh. Okay. Cool. We got an achievement. Sweet. Yeah. Now worked. time to resume resume what I was doing. All right. What? You were on disc desk four one nine. This is that was a Stanley Parrot. So you click it. You gotta find them all. You gotta find them all. But... No, uh, every time um, I die. Uh, um... No, go, okay, go look now. Go look now. Uh, uh okay, that, that didn't do it. Every so, time go... I die, it, it changed the the, the desk it, it and then it location. loads more. Try. Can you click that? No, it, it loads more whenever I die and it's on a new location uh... and I click it. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know about that. I'm it, not, it literally. Well, I've, it's gonna change the location, but I'm not sure that that's exactly what was. You know what? We'll, we'll figure it out. I'm sure. There you go. Stop. Go, 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 go figure your stuff out. Uh, okay. What were we doing before this? Uh, I was ignoring his when orders. Go. Oh, let's go. Oh, the, thank you. The Are we going back to the employee? Seven, Come on, man. What was the? What was the? What was the? Uh, oh, the lift. What? Is that what we were doing? Yes. yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. All right. False. Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Yeah. All right. Do not jump off of it this time. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. <laughs> I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else Where's this is taking difficult, me? but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Where is this There's taking me? someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Who? Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Who? chance to redeem yourself to put your work aside to let her back into you, your life she's been waiting 
What? I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Let's go find... What's in this door? Do we have a lady? Do we have a special lady friend? Oh, God. You know what this reminds me of? What? That one movie that you had me watch where the guy's a psychopath Wait. in the office. Oh, uh, uh, he was a quiet man. Yeah. That's like a that movie. very crazy movie. It, it was it was interesting. You know what this is reminding me of is Portal. Like a little bit. Like, like a weird like little like corporate uh, little laboratory setting. Like like businessy corporate blah blah blah. And God is Gladys. Yeah, well it's a narrator. God. I don't think it's God. God. Whatever. All right. Well, get, find a lady friend. Okay. Hello. He was a quiet man. Yeah, that was a really weird movie, and like I don't, I never know what to think of it. I liked it. I liked it too. Question mark. Oh, I don't trust it. Ooh, open doors with black are not good. Okay. Can I drive this? Is there a horn? What if I stand on it? What if I just walk mm. around and... What's this? Alright, okay. go through the door. Lady friend? Oh, Jesus. That's her standing. Click. Click. <laughs> to reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, Dude, you wait. then pick up the phone. No. <laughs> Lift. Click. I play Dr. Langescott. I know this happens. Dude. What's with the phone? Hello. Hello. Saxophone? Saxophone. 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 Answer the phone. <laughs> What the? What? What? That's funny. Her room is 427, my desk. Okay, there we go. Alright, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about it. Uh. Gotcha. Oh. Come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Very similar to Gladys. Okay. A little bit of dream crushing. This is kind of getting creepy. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Um. Uh. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him. And every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. I've become Stanley. Like, quite literally. Yeah. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told huh. to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. No. Huh. No. This is crazy. A little bit. This is pretty smart. I like this game a lot already. I'm not pressing this button. Okay. I'll push A. I'll push X. I'll push B. Now I'll click everything else, but not Y. I don't think you can go anywhere. Okay. But in his mind, oh, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. Oh. But behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Ah. <laughs> Please press B to watch TV. Oh, I like TV. And so he began uh. to fantasize about his own job. First he oh, him God damn it. While at work, he stepped out from his desk to realize that all of his co workers, his boss, everyone. He's going to start turning into my office. <laughs> Son of a bitch! 427. Yeah. <sighs> Priest RB to spend time with the boys. Where are the boys? So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. Anonymous. Choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind the door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful. They are really making me regret my decisions. <laughs> Fucking depressing as shit. As he wandered through this fantasy world, <laughs> he began to fill it with many possible paths 
and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many... You having an existential crisis over there? I'm so sorry. <laughs> and he called it the Stanley Parable. Oh! What's going to change next? Probably something. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Oh, I think he found the ending. Never end. That he might always feel this free. Because I think he's explaining the concept of the game right now. Some new path. Huh. Must maybe? Perhaps if he played just one more time. But there is no <laughs> answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. So yeah. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. God. The more he forgets which life is the real one. And I'm trying to tell him this. <laughs> that in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. Ugh, I'm so he sorry. Won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. What should I do? Don't don't push it. I mean, okay, but nothing's gonna happen. We're not gonna get anything for this. I know. I know. He just told me this. <sighs> I'm really torn. <laughs> this is. This is a mind fuck if I've ever seen one. Yeah. This game's fucking cheap. So yeah, um, it looks like this is like the real ending from what I'm seeing. Like, this is explaining the whole concept. It's like every, he just keeps re doing different things in his head as he's working, and each one just gives a different fantasy. But he's still just working, and he's never going to escape. Let's go. All right, fuck it. You see, can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains it's gonna be on the computer. Here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? <laughs> Suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But look I up. don't make the rules. I simply play oh, to my intended purpose. The same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. Uh, <gasps> and Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. Jesus. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. All right. You know what? I think I need a break from this already. Well, that was a very Thank you, solid... Stanley parable. All right. Ugh. Jesus Christ. You hurt me emotionally. Alright, well, next time I'll have this jink. Bye. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Fucking crazy. <laughs>